Hi guys, it's Ray. I am setting up to go out and hydro dip some tumblers today. I am using 25 ounce sublimatable glitter tumblers from Hog Stainless Depot for these. And I'm just kind of picking out my color ranges so we can get started on these. And I think I'm going to do, I don't know, I'm trying to break away from my standard colors a little bit. Maybe the antique pink. I don't know if I want to do a lavender or not. Maybe just the antique pink and the antique silver on this one. What is this color? Sundown magenta. Oh, maybe we'll use that too, because I think those three will look beautiful together. So I'm going to get this on an arm, and we're going to get outside and get set up to dip. Okay, so I have all of my um, marbles opened and mixed up. This is the one that is the antique pink, the antique silver, and the sundown magenta. And I'm just going to shake them all out. I'm getting the magenta on the silver. Oh, the silver is beautiful. And then I am going to try to swirl it a little bit without lifting it all off my surface. Tack it to the side if you can. So, I'm going to grab my cup and go ahead and dip in. And you can turn your cup as much or as little as you want. But there we go. Um, it's very hard to get the colors right outside in the sunshine. Um, you'll be able to see better what the colors look like once I get this spray sealed and inside. Once this dries completely, I will spray it with uh, Rust-Oleum 2X uh, clear gloss and then I will bring it inside for the next steps. Okay, so I've decided how I'm going to finish this one. Um, I'm actually going to use some vinyl on it, which is not what I would normally do with a hydro dip, but um, I think it'll look cool in this case. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to first apply a coat of turbo over the spray sealed tumbler. After it dried from its hydro dip, I sealed it with Rust-Oleum 2X Clear couple of times so nothing should repel off the oil based dip material Okay, so this is what I decided I'm going to put on this tumbler. Um, I think I'm just going to put a skinny band of the vinyl at the bottom. You know, like two and a half inches tall. And then the decal that says, Happy is the girl who kayaks. And we're just going to call it a day. Kind of simple. But I'm going to pick, like, my favorite spot to put the decal. Or the spot I think it's going to look best, I guess I should say. Because, like, I like all this detail on this. So, I'm thinking about scooting this in, in here. Q. 
cute. And then like I said, we're just gonna put a little strip of vinyl in here. Not too close to the bottom, not too close to the top, like it just um, in here somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off. And I think just two inches will be okay. Mm. Maybe three. I don't normally use like a printed vinyl over a hydro dip like this. Like I wouldn't normally do that, but I think I just really like the whole color palette together, so. on it about there. Struggling? Yes, yes I am. off of here. Not bad, not bad. All right, one more thing. I'm just gonna cut a thickish black pin stripe. By thickish, I mean about a quarter inch. I just want a little bit of a simple, chunky pinstripe on this one. And I'm actually going to line this up underneath the vinyl. So it'll be right tucked to it. I just wanted a significant pinstripe to break up the pattern in the vinyl and the pattern in the um, <clears throat> Hydro dip itself. So there we go. That is it for this one.
happy as the girl who kayaks. Okay, time to get a coat of turbo on this and then we'll have a look at it. I am going to put a tiny, tiny pinch of the pinch of, touch of rose in here um, just to give the vinyl a little bit of sparkle. But I am like tiny, tiny bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just a little. Okay. So I'm just going to give this one quick torch and that'll be it. So there we have it. Happy is the girl who kayaks. Absolutely love it. I love the colors of this dip. I love the vinyl. I think it all works together even though it's mixing patterns. So. And again, the decal and the vinyl were from a Butterfly Lane subscription box. The individual pieces are available on the website. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.